All right. All right, so we have the new 23andMe update. If you're part of the 23 family, you know that it was a major update done this past week. And I'm gonna quickly go over my results. I did a bit, last video I did was about three years ago, somewhere on my channel. So uh, we are due for a new one. Little context, as you can see, I am black, melanated. I was born in New York. However, my father was born in Kingston, Jamaica. Moved to New York when he was a teenager. My mother was born in New York City, but her family, they are from North Carolina. So we got Jamaican and then African American. However, the two typically overlap, so it's just going to be a lot of this. So let's quickly go over this. All right. Out of 100% of me, 78.6% Sub Saharan African. And I'm not good with the editing, but I will try to add screenshots, hopefully. 78.8% uh, West African, 38% Nigerian. I mean, look at the skin, look at the nose, look at the lips, look at the arms, the shoulders. That's Nigerian all the way. Nigerians tend to have the fastest twitch muscles, which is why um, we tend to build muscle easily and quickly. Uh, Ghanaian, Liberian, Sierra Leonean, 28.9%, right behind Nigeria. Same thing, West Africa, fast twitch muscles. Senegambian Guinea, 3.9%, and Congolese and Southern East Africa. So that's Angola and Congo, 7.8%, which makes sense because during the slave trade with the English colonies, so that would be for me, that would be United States and Jamaica, most of the slaves came from the Nigeria region and the Ghana region, which are the biggest bulk of me. Congo, Angola, most most of them went to Spanish Caribbean and Brazil. So I'm not Brazilian and I'm not Ghanaian. So makes sense why it's only seven point nine. All right, let's keep going. We got some European in, in here. I mean, over ninety nine percent of black people in America has some sort of European. So not surprised. Um, and then I did my my family tree on both sides, mother and father. And the last full white ancestor I had was late 1800s. So we're going back. All right. So 9.5% British and Irish, 6.3% English, 1.5% Welsh, 1.3% Scottish, 0.4% Irish. I mean, most of those are very genetically similar. So you combine it, that's 9.5%. Western European surprised me. Belgian, Rylander, Southern Dutch, 2%. French, 1.1%. Dutch and Northern German, 0.8%. Where did that come from? I have no idea. Again, that is very small. So we're looking at maybe 1700s, 1600s, but still, don't know where that came from. All right. Oh, and I miss Norwegian, 0.9%. All right, now we're on to Spanish and Portuguese. So we got Portuguese, 0.7%. And then we have Central and Eastern European, Lithuanian, 0.2%. We hear noise in the background. They're just doing some construction. Pay them no mind. All right, last, and it is least, but it is significant, East Asian. 5.9%. I mean, come on. Can't you tell? Can't you see in my eyes? The Asian? No, I'm not good. But anyway, so we got Chinese at 5%. Out of that, Southern Coastal Chinese, 4%. Northern Chinese, 1%. And Chinese dot 0.9%. Give you a little context. My great-great-grandfather on my paternal side, he was born in China, and he migrated to Jamaica because after slavery was ended in Jamaica in 1834, hope I'm right, 1834, um, the British needed laborers and workers because the blacks were not willing to do it. So they said, let's bring in the Chinese and let's bring in the Indians. All right, and then we got a little bit of North African at 0.3%. African diaspora, Afro descendants, people of Cayman Islands, Central Carolina's Piedmont, African Americans, and Caribbean says Jamaica. Boom. Central Carolinas, that's my mother's side, Jamaica, father's side. Mix it all up and you get me. So, yeah, 
and that's pretty much it and it looks like i'm at five minutes on the dot wow i am really good okay make sure you like comment and tell a friend tell a family and all that good stuff ciao